Hello, Assalamu alaikum. This is me, Dr. Jahangir, and you are watching me on my YouTube channel that is Dr. Jahangir Khan. So, we are discussing the chest x ray, and this is uh, another very important chest x ray. If you can explain this x ray, I think you are expert in a chest x ray. Uh, well, I have up uploaded a lot of videos on chest x ray, you can watch them on my YouTube channel. There is a full playlist of chest x rays. There is a full playlist of ECGs, there is a full playlist of FCPS videos and there is a full playlist of clinical case scenarios. So in this x-ray, what do you see? Of course, this is a, a poor quality film. This is poor quality film because it is, if you focus on this, the uh, penetration, the exposure, the ripe criteria, it is not fulfilling the ripe criteria. Now, for an X-ray to be <clears throat> uh, fine and uh, uh, quality-wise good, it must fulfill the ripe criteria. Now, what is the ripe criteria? I have discussed already in my in my first video on chest X-ray. That is the basics of chest X-ray. So, <clears throat> even if the quality is not good of this X-ray, even then you can pick the abnormality. Now, if you focus on lung volume on the left side, this is the total lung volume. And this is the total lung volume on the right side. You can compare both the lung volumes. This one and this one. So the left side lung volume is decreased as compared to the right lung volume. But you can appreciate vascular marking on the right side. As well as on the left side. But again, you can appreciate this band there is fibrotic band and there are some cystic changes on the left side and the right heart uh, and the right lung is expanded if you see over here this is inflated this is expanded to compensate for volume loss on the left side and if you focus on the heart what the actual border of the heart is lost because one thing is the rotation of the x-ray because the film is rotated so you cannot see complete heart point number one point number two due to fibrosis in the left side of the lung what happens the heart is pushed backward yes it is pushed backward so you see a tubular like heart you see a tubular like heart so if there is a lung volume loss with fibrotic band with some cavitation in the left upper lobe and hyper expanded yeah, hyper inflated lung on the other side with tubular heart this is actually an x-ray of post tb lung this is post tb sequelae this is post tb sequelae now if this patient present with the chief complaint of hemoptysis what differential diagnosis can come to your mind Point number one, relapse of TB. This is very important. You have to exclude relapse of TB. Point number two, you have to exclude spurgiloma. This is very common in uh, previously treated TB patient because there is a cavity and uh, spurgiloma, it occurs in cavity with a crescent sign. That is uh, obvious on the CT scan. Number three, bronchiectasis. You have to exclude bronchiectasis. Yes, you have to exclude bronchiectasis. Number four, you have to exclude malignancy. So, if a tuberculous patient present to you with hemoptysis, that was that is the TB was treated in the past, but again present with hemoptysis, you have to keep these things in mind. You have to keep these things in mind. So, that was uh, an X-ray of the post-TB lung, post-TB sequelae. Thanks for watching. We'll upload more videos. Please do subscribe my channel and share my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification of my new video.